Hello my darlings. I have been without bread for a week now. I can't bear it any longer. <laughs> this camera is not straight. <laughs> right, so I've decided to try stay of bread, potatoes, pasta, rice. I don't eat much pasta or rice, but I love my potatoes and I love my bread. You know, I could live on sandwiches. And you also know that I don't have any willpower, <laughs> but I am determined to do it for as long as I can. So it's not really to lose weight. I'm not bothered if I lose weight or not. I'm not bothered about being skinny. It's the bloat. I get so bloated because there are days that I can eat sandwich for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I always, always feel bloated so i want to it's my little experiment so i'm not doing keto diet as such although i look at some recipes keto recipes because like meat on its own is really boring so i look what i can add to it i'm not counting any carbs or anything i am not one of these people that can stick to a diet i can eliminate something but give me like a program or menu to stick to no i just don't like anybody telling me what to do <laughs> i suppose so i'm just trying to avoid you know the bad carbs i just popped out to the polish shop to get some cold meats and i show you what sort of sandwiches i eat now <laughs> So this is romaine lettuce. So I just cut off one of the leaves. I've put there some cold meats, tomato and mozzarella. You can load it with anything you like really. And this is my sandwich. I have three of them. I suppose I can have loads of those because there is no bread. But at least I feel like I'm having something resembling a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this is torture for me people I cannot express to you how much I love bread if it's a nice don't like really the white processed bread but all the artisan breads and I could just live on that and butter and I'll be quite happy for the rest of my life so this is a bit of a torture, but I'm going to stick to it for as long as I can. You know, I'm not also, if I ever, ever have such strong need for it, I am not going to torture myself. I will have one. But, um, you know, I'm going more for that 80-20. Be good at 80% of the time and bad 20% of the time. So, but it's hard. Mm. it's good would be much better on bread obviously and when I was paying in the, in the Polish shop they have all these different breads they smell so gorgeous freshly baked and I was like you are killing me here <laughs> so that's the story about my diet i had a bit of a drama at the weekend so a few days ago my mom called me she has a little dog um, her name is angel and she is mixture of bichon frise and something else little white thing her face looks like a little goat <laughs> and she's 15 and for, for about 10 days she hasn't been well she has hardly eaten anything just drinking water you know she's 15 so my mum went to the vet and the vet said you know she oh and she had a couple of seizures as well so my mum took her to the vet and the vet said she could have brain tumor but you know you cannot tell unless you do CT scan which costs a fortune um, she could have cancer anyway um she gave her some sort of three injections some boost of nutrients vitamins or something and i think that was like 
Thursday and the vet said um, you know you don't want her to suffer if she's not back better if she hasn't packed up then you know it's up to you but we'll probably put her to sleep on Saturday so can you imagine my mum was like this is my child you know she's had it I think she's had it for 10 years she didn't have it from a puppy um, and on Saturday morning my mum got up crying her eyes out knowing that she has to take Angel to the vet but Angel looked a bit more perky she got up because before that she would just sleep under, under her little blanket um, to go out my mum had to carry her also she was very weak because she hasn't eaten like for 10 days and my mum thought well she's looking a bit better so she gave her a bit of food in her bowl and she sat there with her crying saying please please angel eat something to save your life and the mum said the dog looked at her like there was something wrong with her and started eating so she ate almost the whole bowl my mum still took her to the vet she was carrying her but Angel wanted to, you know she was kicking she wanted to be put on the ground and she was wagging her tail quite happy so my mum walked into the vet and she said look it's a miracle so the vet checked her over and she said well she looks fine I, I sort of don't have the faith in that vet to be honest but then I don't know it's such an old dog do you know unless you do all these scans and she had the blood test done and he showed that she's got problems with her liver now but she is 15 um, anyway the vet said you know I, I couldn't put her down the way she is she checked her she said her heart feels fine and everything is fine so can you imagine and uh, since my mum said she's eating so much now like she's trying to make up for the 14 days that she didn't so it was such a relief um, I don't know my mum brought her to life somehow anyway I'm going to go and eat my pretend sandwiches Hi my lovelies, <laughs> I've just reviewed this wig, you would have seen it at the weekend. Uh, this is the Beltres PLS in Rude Beer Float Blonde and I put it up because it's a very very long wig, like down to here, you know how I feel about that but I think it's so cute to put up and I will just keep her like this on my stand so I can just pop her on my head and have ready hair up. I just might need to cut these bits a bit shorter because they hang a bit too long. Love it, it's so cute. I've always, always wanted to wear my own hair in this like top messy bun, but of course my own thin hair, the bun would be about that big. Wanted just to pop in and show you something. So, do you remember my wellies that I bought from Holland Coupa? The ones that look like riding boots and they had Sherpa filling. I tell you something, I think this was the best buy of 2021 and it will serve me for years to come. I live in these wellies. They are warm. I don't even put socks in them. Of course, we don't have very, very cold winters, but even when it was just barely above zero, they are fine without socks because of that Sherpa feeling. And they are very expensive for um, wellies, but they are gorgeous looking and they are made really well and you have that feeling. They do them in shorter length as well. But what I just bought, so Paul bought himself from Rocket Dog, I think, a pair of wellies as well. Not as nice as mine, but they are nice. And they came with a boot bag. And I thought, wow, for what I paid for my wellies, I should have gotten a boot bag. But unfortunately, it doesn't come with it. So I looked on Amazon for one and I found one and it's amazing. Look at that. I don't know what this is for. Maybe you could put your scarf in here. And they came in different colors and that was just six pounds, six, six, seven pounds. So when you come from 
muddy outdoors you can stick them right in there to dry out and all the dirt will fall off or just to store them or if you are going away just pack them in that amazing and here are my boots they are a bit um, dusty now from my walk they also do them in like a painted crock finish so they almost look like just like nice riding boots they are so comfortable you know sometimes swellings can be really stiff and uncomfortable but these are lovely yeah but i thought that bag was such a good idea in fact you can use it i suppose for storage over summer for your normal long boots really really good and i thought you know whenever i find something good i need to share it with you I feel a bit out of sorts because it's a gym day today. I was supposed to go to the gym, but we got a message this morning from our PT. His baby is not well, so he had to stay home because his wife had to go uh, to London. So um, I was like, oh, um, what do I do with myself? I did my cleaning yesterday. To be honest, I have some ironing to do, but you know how we feel about ironing but probably will do it so i thought i've had this wig now for a while i pop in and review it i have i think two more wigs um from a brand that i've never heard of to review so maybe i do those as well i don't know but yeah i feel a bit weird on my eyes today this is like my half cut crease look that i do and I think I am supposed to be doing video on that. I think I'm probably someone ages ago, so I need to do that. It is not that different to how I do my normal look, but as you can see, the crease is cut out a bit more sharply. And this makeup is done with Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one, which I love. I can't tell you what I've got on my lips because I have, oh, there it is. Um, it's such a mixture and it's not something that is widely available. Um, so this is a um, matte liquid lipstick from Golden Rose. I think Golden Rose is Polish brand or German. I, I'm not sure. I think I bought it on Amazon and I don't know if they are that widely available. If I find it, I will put it in the description um box so and this is in zero three and these lipsticks are called lipping my matte lipping as in lip so i sort of used it as a um lip liner and slightly filled it in and then i topped it off with the jade lipstick in 195 i don't think this color is available anymore because i even looked for myself i love this lipstick it's just so beautiful it's just the perfect nude uh, so i don't think they do this anymore how do you pronounce pronounce it it's spelled ga dash de so i don't know if it's jade if it's gate gd um it's from Israel, I think, that brand. Beautiful lipsticks, but I can't find this color anymore. So yeah. Oh, and my, um, this is my cashmere jumper. This is from Scott & Scott. Um, and I got it on Brand Alley, which is like a discount store where they sell, I think, like end of the line from different designers. So um, this won't be available anymore now. I suppose because I bought it I think before Christmas so or sometime in the winter I'm just thinking what else to tell you just because I don't want to go and do my ironing <laughs> I could sit here and just talk about nothing right but I better go I will see you another day if I had the chance I'd probably break free I could have my weights I could let it be I could do what I want but it's just an illusion, illusion Yeah, I sometimes feel like I can go up I'm drinking beer right out my coffee cup I wanna do what I want It's just an illusion, illusion Try to come down, but I know it's gonna There is the queen on a horse And if you look down there, this is called the long walk 
I don't know if you can see if you walked all the way down there you get to Windsor Castle you can actually just about to see Windsor Castle oh look at all the horses coming What are these? Are they dirty horses? Louie, can you see all the horses? picked up Louis from his new groomer so he had his first groom with that new lady she was really lovely I will show him to you in a minute she put a lovely bow on his harness I am out of breath because I looked at the clock at home and I didn't realize what time it was that I had to really pick him up so but I had the camera in my car but I don't have my handle so I have to hold it <laughs> yeah she said he was absolutely fine so let me show him to you Louis Louis are you pretty boy look at your fluffy tail come on let's go for a walk so I'm really happy how he looks uh, I just asked her to now book him regular appointments till the end of the year and all is good right i'm back in the car now so i took him for this little walk here after i've picked him up i shouldn't know because now his belly is dirty because <laughs> it's rained a bit um yeah they have such a lovely path here green path oh my god his belly is all muddy now <laughs> He will get muddy anyway tomorrow uh, so yes i'm really happy because i was a bit a bit stressed about him going and he was stressed but she said he was do you want to look through the window there you go um she said he was really good apart from he hates having anything done around his mouth and he licks like mad so it's very hard for them to work on him but yes i'm happy so I'm gonna go home now. I thought I'd give him a little walk. So I gave him one before 
um, I took him to her and now so we don't have to take him out again because it's already half past four so I don't know maybe we take him again right I'm gonna go home now right another first world problem browse so yesterday I almost almost booked an appointment online for microblading <laughs> I was so close to do it I'm so glad I did it so you know how thin my brows are you see me whenever I do full face makeup they are just so thin on one brow I have the tail missing because when I was a child I had an accident I had it stitched up so the hair doesn't grow there or just like three hairs I've got on there and um, I am fed up with every morning doing my brows and I think brows are so important I think when you have thin or missing sparse brows it's very aging brows just frame your eyes so they are very important I'm not that good at doing brows my brows are I've got very high brows as well. I know I get comments which frankly annoy me about, oh, you've, you've got so much Botox that your brows are up your forehead. It's nothing to do with Botox. I can just always lift my brows very high. If I had Botox there, I wouldn't be able to lift my brows. Um, so, um, and also the shape of my brows that they so arched well I can't help it I was born with that shape brows and they were never that thin but obviously in my youth I've over plugged them and they just don't grow back I have like the odd stray hair growing underneath my brow that I just plug but I couldn't grow bushy thick eyebrow even if I wanted to so doing my brows every morning is a nightmare also i've noticed because i can't see that well close up now um i sometimes do my brows and then i see myself in different light and i see how badly they are done i could do them in a magnifying mirror but then if I do them in a magnifying mirror and then I look in a normal mirror it looks like I've done them too big too thick <laughs> can't do them wearing glasses because the glasses are in a way just a nightmare so I almost booked it but I thought no I'm going to research it a bit more and I've watched lots of videos on YouTube people talking about it so I wanted micro microbladed because they are when they tattoo little hairs so they look very natural like hairs but I've heard a lot of people saying yes they look okay at first for a few months but after eight months or so the strokes the hair strokes tattooed hair strokes can blow up a bit then they change color they can go a bit reddish looking uh, for some people it doesn't last even like six months because it depends if you for example have very oily skin they the microblading doesn't last so long you have to go for top ups and it's quite expensive so then I looked at powdered brows which is similar to the tattooing it's still like tattooing but it's more like shading your brow but I don't know if I like this look this is supposed to last longer and be a bit better but it is more of a very polished look as if you really did it with pencil and do you know what I mean like a makeup look I like to see the bushiness and individual brows so um, after watching all that I don't think I'm going to do it I know a lot of you um, told me before in comments that you that you've done it and you really love it but then there is a lot of people that don't like it so I'm terrified first of all that they will do the wrong shape or I wouldn't like the color 
because I know people they've had them done and I didn't like it so I've only seen one person the, the woman I was going to go to um, her work is amazing everything looks beautiful but obviously the pictures that she shows are pictures straight after she's done it so of course it's all gonna look nice I want to know what it looks like a few months after and the videos that I've seen I haven't seen really one person that was happy with microblading after like 8-12 months so so I think I'm going to persevere maybe I will sit one day and play and try to find another way of doing my brows I don't know but um, yeah it would be so lovely can you imagine waking up in the morning and your brows are just there you don't have to do anything maybe I tattoo them myself put permanent marker on I'm not good with those you know um, like f felt tip eyebrow pens I'm not good with those I've, I've had few and never found a good color and never found a good one so I don't know so anyway I'm not doing my brows now but honestly I was so fed up yesterday I was so close I almost pressed the button to book it and you have to the one that I, I would go to you have to pay like 50 pounds deposit while you book it online so that would be me done I would have to go or lose the 50 pounds so I'm so glad I did it when you if you ever have urge to do something just sleep on it honestly so yes maybe I sit down and practice different ways of doing my brows and maybe I will perfect it one day but still you know my brows take me 10 minutes at least 10 minutes to do I could do my whole face in 10 minutes okay my lovelies I will finish this vlog here because I'm sure this is very long by now and I will see you in my next video. Have a great week and stay fabulous. Bye.